Hello everyone, um, it's Chris from God's Untainted Word here, um, just keeping up with this uh, 30 days devotional following Jesus. Um, I'll just obviously see seven, um, day 17, um, March 11th, so without further ado, I am actually a day behind in my in my country. Um, keeping up with this is actually quite tricky, I have a lot to do, I try and keep it, get out of the house and do things, um, help around my local church, and that sort of thing, and it's, it's hard to... Um, keep up with things online so I'm glad I haven't got a big following or anything like that I haven't started too many projects on this YouTube channel um, I think I, I'll stick to maybe one or two at a time and, and just keep it like that because otherwise it just gets too much you know hang on give me a second all right well without further ado let's get into it we'll be covering um, Romans thirteen fourteen. Um, but first of all, a devotional in relevance to Romans thirteen fourteen. So without further ado, let's get started. So, devotional, remove and replace. A sub-point made in Sunday's message under the title, Called 1. Called to lay down, brings out the idea to make no provisions in the flesh using Romans thirteen fourteen as a reference. We can understand this to mean we remove opportunities for the flesh to control us but instead to allow Christ to lead our lives. So how do we do that? Eliminating obstacles such as romantic fantasizing, pornography, desires to fortune and for fortune and fame, work overload or other temptations by confessing them to God. In their place, we are to put on Christ as being accountable to a, to a godly friend, spending time in God's word and prayer every day, attending and being involved in with church worship regularly, and listening to godly music and messages are a few ways to put on Christ. A bit, a little bit of sin can add up to making provision for flesh. So putting Christ on Christ will add up to making provision in the for the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, you are the Holy Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus to wash us and cleanse us from sin. As a born-again believer, I ask you to help me to put off these things that hinder my life from being completely surrendered to you and show me the ways to put on Christ so that I may please you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And there we go, putting on Christ, um, Romans thirteen fourteen. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, we'll, we'll stick around um, for today. There'll be um, number eighteen on um, day eighteen. So, but yeah, I'm going to load that one up today. I want to keep up there. I'm, I'm usually only a day late, so it's pretty good. But I hope everyone's being blessed. Um, by these de this devotional and and for any new believers out there that um, these are helping please leave a comment in the description section let me let me know you know share a bit of a testimony perhaps and l let the, it, the other people and the viewers and subscribers know that that you know you you're being transformed by the word of God and through these um videos and if you have any ideas about any other um, options or videos that you think of that should be that I could cover um, let me know I'm, I'm learning every day more and more about um, things that I thought was right and now I'm not not so sure about that God's revealing to me that maybe it wasn't him after all that showed me about this but instead it was him uh, it was myself thinking that it was him that was telling me this so 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 yeah so i'll keep i'll keep i won't keep you guys long so yeah i hope that um this is helping you guys and, and of course always i love you all and god bless